Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to part 56 of our new player guide series. I was recently asked um, by one of uh, you viewers, subscribers, um, about advice on obtaining um, Halsey uh, in the campaign, uh, the hit hard, hit fast, off, hit often. And then also I can tie in and talking about how best to go about completing the campaign um, for Yamamoto Soroku. Um, so the goal of today's video is I'm going to go through just these two specific campaigns. I'm going to give you advice um, on how to go about this. So first I'm going to start off uh, with Halsey uh, and obtaining him. Now uh, you may notice, wait a minute Flimsy, you, you're not complete with this series, What's go uh, this kind of campaign, what's going on? This is on my EU server, okay? So I have my NA server, and I started the EU server as um, to help me kind of walk in the same shoes as those who are uh, progress-wise, of those who are new players in the game for the new player guide series. That was one of the main purposes of having uh, starting an EU server account. So I only have, um, I don't have many ships. So what you see in the bottom is uh, uh, about all I have. I mean, it is all I have. So uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to go through uh, each of these, and I'm going to be mindful of timing, so maybe 20 minutes? Maybe? Yeah, maybe? We'll talk, maybe? So anyhow, um, so let's just first start on this first one, because, you know, as you go up these five different missions in the campaign, uh, the tasks get varying and differences, uh, so on and so forth. So you can see this is where I'm at. I'm currently in the first one. I don't play EU a lot, but I've been playing a little bit more lately. Um, and grinding some ships here. Um, so for the first, uh, one of the things I need to make mention of, uh, a lot of newer players who come into the game uh, that don't know this, is that you can redo a mission, um, or a, sorry, excuse me, a task that you've already done before, just you won't be issued that reward a second time. So for example, um, I'm still completing task seven. Um, ah, shoot, <laughs> I forgot. Available only with premium account, so um, I can't add that back in. I was going to select a different mission task. Uh, maybe for six I can. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't done six yet. Okay, um, I can redo that, so my bad. Um, so that's something to make note of. If you don't have premium time, uh, you can only do two tasks at a time. If you have premium time, you can have three tasks. And as you saw, even though I didn't have, I don't have premium currently on this account, I could still complete the, and do the third uh, task I have labeled here, um, and I'll still get completion for it. Just once it completes, I can't add another task in this until the third slot, until I get um, premium time again. And I wouldn't recommend getting premium time just for this alone, just for this task slot. But there may be some, there's going to be some mission tasks that it's actually going to be more beneficial if you do have premium time for it. So, so for example, you see that I've already completed task one. It gave 10 commander XP economic uh, expendable bonuses. So I can click on this task again, even though I've done it, except task, boom. Now I can do this task again. I can get another one star from it. Um, and it's relatively easy to do because I only need to get 50,000 commander XP, right? And if I'm using um, some, um, economic bonuses, right? So I have some good ones here. Uh, so I just have the, the special, and then you can see I do have um, some here with the rare expendable, and then also uh, the um, unique expendable bonuses there, right? So taking advantage of that, you know, then of course like um, premium ships, uh, I guess go to hill here. Um, we can have, oops, economic bonus, we'll go back. You can see you, you get, I get an uh, additional bonus, but I'm probably not going to earn as much Commander XP at a lower tier versus a higher tier. Um, and I can point this out, of course, within the campaign itself. These are some things I'm housekeeping things to go over with. Um, because it's important with these tasks, you know, so like, yes, I can do this mission task again, but it's always important to pay attention to the completion criteria. Okay, it's going to vary. Um, a lot. Uh, most all of these, and I think even for Yamamoto Soroku, it's all tier 8 to super ship. So tier 8 to tier 11, if you will. Okay. Um, and then even as uh, for some of these, because we're going for Halsey, uh, William Halsey, uh, they're going to be, oh, uh, not only are we going to restrict the tier, 
um, and what game mode you can do this in, but we're going to restrict the class of ship you can do it in. So I think like down here, yeah, aircraft, just a cruiser or submarine. Um, and then some, like here, can only be also an American ship. So not only is it tier eight through super ship, but now it's either aircraft carrier and cruiser, and it can only be done in American ship, as you see the American flag, and it can only be done in randoms in ranked battle. Okay, where like up here you saw, oh, I can earn it in uh, random, co-op, ranked, and brawls. Uh, no, sorry, excuse me, clan battles, my, my mistake. Clan battles is what you see uh, down there at the bottom, this here. So always pay attention to th just knowing these things because uh, you can be working on a task and like, I did what it asked, why didn't I get anything? Oh. I was playing it in co-op and it wanted me to do it in randoms or ranked. Um, or I wasn't doing it, I was doing it tier seven, not tier eight, nine, 10, or super ship. Um, or, wow, these other tasks are really difficult. Hey, it's actually easy if I can just repeat a task I've already done, right? Um, so that's uh, extremely inconvenient. Uh, convenient. Okay, and you can see even when I switched around, like, right, I can do these tasks, but if I switch to this ship, immediately says select a suitable ship. So it's telling me that the ship I have selected currently does not work for the task that I have here. Okay, so that's a good way to just check um, off the bat. Uh, like, let's say I get rid of task one and let's say I wanna do um, task seven. Okay, so then I switch this into co-op. Uh, I come back into campaigns. Um, now it's saying uh, both of these are saying you can't do it in co-op. It needs to be um, in ranked or randoms. So that's a good way to also check as well. So just pay attention to that. But uh, let's talk more about the specific advice uh, of what I would recommend in completing uh, these. So first, again, starting off here with Halsey and the first mission task, um, there's gonna be some synergy um, at times, right? You could you could complete two tasks almost at the same time, depending on where you're at in the stages, um, and then um, same class, right? Things like that. Uh, so commander XP, right? So if I'm working on commander XP, um, I need tier A through tier ten. Um, you're going to earn more commander XP playing randoms and ranked or clan battles. And if you're a newer player, maybe you haven't found a clan yet, or you don't. Um, uh, you're not quite there, feel comfortable to, maybe you're in a more relaxed clan, right? Then you'd be looking at co-op, but randoms and ranked are gonna give you the best payout. Um, and again, the ranked would have to be tier eight through 10. So I think their current rank season is like tier seven. So if I click on this and I go back in, oops, sorry, this one here. Um, it's still saying it's possible. It's sus because it's not, uh, it should be showing up as not able to complete because I, uh, the ranked is currently tier seven. Hmm. Interesting. So, shouldn't be showing up that way, but it's probably not catching it because you're like, oh, it thinks it's your, you're in the correct game mode. Um, yes, okay, focus, focus, focus here, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, this one, earn credits, right? Um, again, uh, you can utilize your economic bonuses. Uh, you know, we can come into here. Um, you can see, yeah, I, I could burn through these really good ones, right? Um, but I wouldn't recommend doing that unless like you get, um, like let's say you got a tier nine premium. Um, tier nine premium ships are the best credit earners in the game. Um, Tier eights do pretty well, tier tens can be expensive, and then super ships get even more expensive, um, right, to run. Um, but I would only really utilize these economic boosters on like um, a, a premium ship that I know is gonna pay out well and that I perform well in, right? But maybe you're like, well, how do I know Flimsy what ship I would perform well in if I don't own a premium yet? Um, you can just look at, you know, do you, are you a good cruiser player? Are you a good battleship player? And then like, oh, then maybe this type of battleship would fit my play style. Uh, premium time is also gonna help with that, right? Because um, when you have premium time, it boosts your commander XP uh, and your credit earning. Um, we, I, I'll show you that specifically. Um, I don't wanna be saying things that are not accurate, 
Okay, scratch that. This video is probably going to be 30 minutes. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm being thorough with you, so I'm sorry if it's a little too nitty-gritty on you, but I do want to be very intentional in helping. That's what usually gets me in most of the trouble when these videos become long. It's because I'm, I'm trying to be intentional and in giving you good advice um, so you can have a rough good idea what to expect. Now, I expect Armory is probably still bugged when you log in and won't actually show anything that I have in my wallet. Yeah, not surprising. Uh, so doubloons premium. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it actually going to show how it boosts, how it helps? Maybe it's not actually going to do that because, uh, yeah, maybe because it's still it's bugged and affected in that way. Okay, I'll just throw it on the screen. Uh, what things it does uh, attribute to uh, in helping. Okay, I'll try to just stay only in the campaign itself. <laughs> uh, task three, um, right? Sink in an enemy destroyer, win the battle, survive. Um, complete it in one battle, right? So tier eight through tier 10. So, I mean, it does, it's not a class restriction. Um, so that's your task. <laughs> that one's rather straightforward. Uh, earn the most XP on your team two times can be, complete, can be completed over several battles. Um, this one might be tricky uh, that it's uh, going to be a tier 10 or tier 8 through super ship that you feel really comfortable in. So like for myself, like Massachusetts would be like my go-to ship uh, as an example. Um, where if you're playing a tier 8 cruiser or tier 8 ship like Edinburgh, I mean it's possible to get first place on the team. Um, but you're competing with, competing with 11 other people and you'd be somewhat competent in running Edinburgh if you, your goal is to get number one. Uh, most XP on your team two times in a row. We're ranked, maybe it's easier, right? There's less players. So six, like it varies. It can be six to seven players per ranked battle season. If, if it is the tier eight through super ship, then maybe, hey, maybe there's a better sh shot of you getting top with having lesser competition on your team. Here, rank among the top uh, three XP earners on your team 18 times can be completed over several battles. So you can see aircraft carrier, cruiser, submarine, now, probably something I need to make mention of is that submarines get a baked-in base XP booster. No other class gets this in the game. Wargaming puts so much magical pixie dust into submarines to make them work and function in the game that it's uh, appalling. <laughs> Don't even get me started on carriers, but particularly with submarines, they get a base XP boost, so you can do like minimal damage. But the fact that you get that base XP boost, you're gonna place among the top three XP earners in your team. Um, so that's just a hint there. Maybe if you're, you struggle with aircraft carriers, right? You may be looking more for a cruiser. Um, maybe, you know, as cruisers that you feel more comfortable with in doing this in, um, unless you're just really good at submarines and aircraft carriers as a newer player in the game. Uh, damage, um, this is one that you'll see periodically. So we can see 150,000 uh, hit points of damage to an enemy ship and win the battle. Okay, uh, like right now, for example, ranked is tier seven, right? So that doesn't even apply because we're talking tier eight through super ship. Um, but it's hard to get 150,000 damage when you're playing ranked because it's only like 6v6, right? So then that means you have to do a lot more legwork, right? Where if you're playing randoms when it's 12v12, um, you have much better chances of getting that 150,000 uh, HP of damage. And you're probably looking at um, if you want to go uh, the easy way, you know, playing a cruiser and focusing on setting a lot of fires, right? So if I'm like playing Des Moines, maybe it's slinging a lot of high explosive, I'm setting fires on different ships like battleships. Maybe I, I see he battleship DCP'd, I just set a fire on him and then he put it out. Then I know as soon as his damage control party goes down that I can set more fires. I can try to set a couple more across this ship, right? Um, you know, then of course, always opportunity to Citadel, enemy ships, if you're playing something like Des Moines, I mean, Minotaur, um, you're not going to be setting uh, fires with it, right? But that Minotaur is maybe a little more difficult to play. Uh, but like, you know, you're playing um, Battleship like Montana or you like Conquer is a fantastic battleship. You can easily farm damage with it because of its high fire chance and it's a tech tree battleship. Um, I would definitely recommend grinding up that line if you're a newer player. Uh, oh, sorry, but that doesn't apply to this one because it's destroyer or submarine and cruisers. Um, so yeah, Des Moines, 
Petropavlovsk, um, Nevsky, those are two Russian cruisers. Uh, submarines, uh, once you've grinded up, you know, tier 8 to tier 10. There's some ones that can do it well as well, but now live. <laughs> uh, sink two enemy destroyers in the battle and survive, complete it in the single battle, right? Um, so then I'm going to be looking to do this. It's easier to hit destroyers with cruisers. I mean, now if you're a really good CV player, that probably you're, you're probably not watching this video um, <laughs> because uh, you'd need to be playing an air, American aircraft carrier, and so you'd be playing Lexington, Midway, or United States, or one of the other tier eight, tier ten uh, premium CVs. Um, so you're probably, if you're a newer player, you're, you're looking realistically at doing this. <clears throat> in a cruiser and this one I would probably um, you not all ranked battles right if it's a 6v6 are you gonna have two enemy destroyers it's possible but not always as likely but I would see it as a good place if you're seeing a lot of destroyers and ranked then this would probably be your best bet because the maps are smaller um, and like if I'm playing if, if I'm at tier 10 on Des Moines I have a lot of influence with radar that's gonna really help me out um, in completing that task um, here, earn the most XP on your team six times, can be completed over several battles. So again, this is kind of has some synergy with what we've talked about previously. And again, you've seen completion criteria below, and then it needs to be an American ship. So basically, the gist is if you're going for Halsey, um, you're going to want to have um, uh, American high tier ships, tier 8 through tier 10 or up to super ship, uh, okay? Um, but if you're playing for Yamamoto Isoroku, you're going to need Japanese ships, just in general, okay? Um, we talked about the Commander XP, we've talked about credit earning, um, captured or assisted in capture ribbons. This is going to be better for destroyers, so um, in here you can see it, it's not a uh, nation requirement. And for new players, I recommend if you just started the game, go for Daring, uh, the tier 10 or the British destroyer line. I, I, if I could do it again, I would go for Daring first rather than going for Gearing, the United States uh, Naval Destroyer. Um, but Daring would uh, do well in this. She's got that short range hydra, right? So you're playing something that's stealthy. Um, even submarines could do this. Um, maybe they have a little, yeah, even submarines can do this. Or a cruiser or battleship's going to have a harder time getting captured or assisted capture. Here you can see, be among the top three XP earners in your team, gain a victory, receive a set on fire, or cause flooding ribbon, complete in a single battle. So basically, as long as you set one fire and you're just among the top of your team and you gain a victory, um, you're good, okay? But at least it's not the top, it's the, just the top three. Um, this one's pretty straightforward, right? Some of these things, uh, after we get going, I won't have to keep revisiting again and again. Here, 120 set on fire, cause flooding ribbons. It's gonna be easier and faster for you to go uh, for fires, uh, in my opinion, just because you can put out much more fires than you can torpedoes that cause flooding or depth charges on some enemy submarines. Um, so probably like, um, yeah, daring's a good fire starter. I mean, gearing's good. Um, you could go for, I think even the French have a decent fire chance. Um, maybe if you're playing, um, you know, some of the aircraft carriers, there's some that are decent at setting fires. I think the Americans are okay. The British are probably a bit better, but the, uh, some of those, I think the Implacable is rather a uh, poor CV at tier eight. Uh, this task, um, yeah, top three XP earner, earners on your team, you have to win and you have to inflict 50,000 spotting damage. You're gonna be looking, yeah, Aircraft carrier, destroyer, or submarine for sure. Um, right now, you can earn spotting damage from aircraft carrier like fighters. You drop fighters. Okay, I don't know if that's always going to be a thing, but if you go for spotting, typically carriers are your go-to, but they're really expensive. And if you're a newer player, playing aircraft carrier at tier eight through tier ten might be rather suffering. So then maybe I, I would encourage you more to look at a, a destroyer, um, destroyer or submarine. More of a destroyer just to help you learn the basics of the game so that means you just need to be closer to the enemy team like there can't be an if there's another destroyer between you and the enemy team that enemy destroyer who's spotting is going to be the one receiving the spotting damage and that's this little icon that will be up in the right corner of your screen um yeah that's pretty straightforward oops 
it makes it all the way out. Okay, we're we're getting faster through this. Promises, promises. Um, oh yeah, I haven't even explored the final task. So like this one, uh, 30,000 XP after modifiers, like you could put this on a tier. Uh, you can see that we can do it in random, co-op, ranked, clan battles. Um, I mean, you could put a blue booster and get really close to earning 30,000 XP if you have a, at least a decent to a really good game, right? Or red is gonna definitely put you over, but don't just go ham with those economic, the blue and red. Um, really save them uh, for once you kind of know how to best play the ship. Like I don't ever really put a red ec or a blue economic booster on a ship I just picked up if I'm grinding it, right? Because you want to use those economic boosters for ships you're grinding uh, for the, the ship XP. Um, so I, I play the ship for a little bit first and then I'll throw on one of those special ones, uh, those the rare or unique uh, uh, bonuses. So you can see, basically, we're seeing a lot of the same things before. Um, it's just it's going up in terms of how like credits or um, commander XP from earlier. Here, hit the citadel of enemy ship 50 times. Uh, Amer it has to be American ship. Des Moines is fantastic for this. Um, Buffalo can do well with it. Baltimore will do well with this. Um, Annapolis, the super ship, will do well with this um, because they have improved pin angles. Um, so you can get a lot of citadels with these. Um, so yeah, and in fact, it has to be American, right? You're looking at either the uh, heavy cruiser line or you're looking at the, the North Carolina, Iowa, or Montana, or the super American battleship whenever it comes out. Potential damage, this you can see in a cruiser, right? So it's you can easily do that with Des Moines. Uh, you just don't wanna be showing broadside, so you're maybe be watching over an area, a lot of ships shooting you. Uh, so just be mindful like if you were to buy a premium ship like uh, I don't know if she's available for uh, Doubloons anymore, but Alaska would do decent at that um, She's a more of a super cruiser. Um, so a heavier cruiser um, Receive a dev strike so maybe you detonate something or you can see with a battleship, right? You just yoink uh, a ship completely off the map a heroic achievement, so that can be first blood, it can be death strike, it can be double strike, it can be uh, wither, it can be dreadnought. I mean, it can be a number of things. Um, so, um, shoot down 10 amir craft, that's pretty straightforward. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna, there's a lot of synergy here. Let me just skip to the last one and then I need to get to Yamamoto Isoroku. Um, yeah, here, 100,000 commander XP, right? So usually your first task, the one star task are the easiest. And then you can see that the, as they as they go up in difficulty, they add more stars to them. Okay, that's just uh, typical um, in how it goes. Um, hit enemy ships with 75 times with rockets, aero bombs, or aerial torpedoes. So that I have on my NA server, there's a couple of aircraft only ones. So you can see completion criteria, uh, only aircraft carrier. There's some that I, I, I just don't do, right? So you can see the amount of stars we need here. So that's something I probably should have said in the beginning. See how many stars you need. And you don't always have to do all the tasks to be able to complete this, or you can just uh, do that same task again, right? So when I started playing, I wasn't interested in aircraft carrier, so I just would skip the aircraft carrier task, like here, shoot down 150 enemy aircraft. I'm actually working on this one on NA right now, just because they don't have any other campaign task to work on. Um, so when I do take a CV out sometimes, I'm working on this task. Um, so I'll just skip it or I'll just repeat a task that I've already done. Um, 2,000 ribbons. So again, a cruiser or aircraft carrier. Like, so this would be a light cruiser. I'm thinking you could do this again with Des Moines. You could do it with Buffalo. Um, maybe your light cruisers that have um, good reload time, right? Um, just because all you need to get is get ribbons. So it can be shell hits, it can be caps, it can be um, defended, it can be destroyed. The list goes on from there. Earn any 36 achievements can be completed over several battles, right? So that's gonna take you some time, but you can see uh, we've left uh, tier eight. Uh, we've gone to tier nine now, tier nine, 10 and super ship. So just be mindful that when you get to these later stages, they are gonna increase the difficulty uh, and what uh, you can do. Um, so just be mindful. Like this one is 10 million credits, an aircraft carrier, 10 million credits, uh, American cruiser. Final task, 
50,000 XP, that's pretty straightforward, not too complicated, and you can see tier 8 through tier, uh, tier super ship. Oops. Okay, Yamamoto is Heroku. So there should be a lot of similar synergy here. Just you're probably going to see some Japanese ships uh, ticking in on here. Um, if I see something different to point out, I will. Um, yeah, that you've had that one in the first one. Incapacitate or destroy modules. Um, a lot of times when you're destroying modules, you're doing that with high explosive shells. Um, like the British battleships do this really well with their high explosive. They just wreck modules on enemy ships. So um, even like if you grind up to St. Vincent or you grind up to Conqueror, I would recommend kind of more going for Conqueror first. Um, their high explosive just hits hard. I think Conqueror's got four 19 millimeter guns and I think on St. Vincent, they give them 457 millimeter guns. Um, so that heavy high explosive, if you're like, a, you like the Japanese ships, um, you know, Yamato's gonna do that fine with her uh, 460 millimeter guns. Um, Zhao, uh, with her heavier high explosive, uh, she'll do it fine. Emmy Citadel, you can see a cruiser, right? So then you're gonna be playing um, like Ibuki, uh, Zhao, um, I don't know what the tier eight Japanese cruiser off the top of my head. Uh, 500,000 HP of damage uh, to ships with your main battery guns can be completed over several battles, right? So you're just going to be playing a tier 8 through super ship cruiser by setting fire, right? So a lot of high explosive spam, 3,000 XP, 2 million credits, 30,000 XP. Um, if there's a lot of similar synergy here, then I'm just going to skip to the last one, but we'll check through this one. Earn a most XP, you can see aircraft carrier, aircraft carrier spotting damage. Another aircraft carrier, like I picked up Yamamoto as Heroku and I just skipped these CV missions, okay? Um, if I needed to, I just redid a, a task that I was already working on. High caliber Confederate, right? So then if you're going for this, uh, then you need to be focused on performing well. Like high caliber is just getting as much damage as possible. Um, it's a certain percentage of the hit points that's represented on the enemy team's part. Confederate is, I think you have to do damage to at least six ships and I don't know off the top of my head how that achievement works. If it's like just 20% of their hit point damage across those six ships, um, just off the top of my head. Uh, let's check that. I think we can see achievements. Uh, Confederate, um, six or more ships uh, damage dealt to each ship must amount to at least 20% of her base health hit points. Okay, so that's the base hit points, not like they heal again and again. High caliber, damage four more enemy ships, damage caused must amount to at least 30% of the total HP of all ships on the enemy team. Okay, so helpful for you to see there. Mm, let's see over there, there, there. 100 spotted ribbons, um, aircraft carrier again. So some of these are gonna be, can be rather intense. Uh, with World War II and just the role that aircraft carriers played. Shoot down aircraft. This is in any class, so that's nice. So relatively easy. You will see a lot of CVs at higher tiers. Two million credits, right? Yeah, uh, thirty thousand. Okay. Um, I'm gonna skip to the last one. And if there's a specific task I didn't cover and you were wondering on, just let me know in the comments below. Citadels with cruiser, you get 10 citadels in one single battle, uh, tier nine through super ship. So um, probably, yeah, you're definitely looking, I mean, they're like, right, you can pick up Azuma. Um, she's got 310 millimeter guns, but you could still do this in Zal. You're just looking for enemy cruisers typically to get citadels on. You can citadel battleships if you're close enough, depending on their armor scheme and how vulnerable their citadels are. 25 aircraft, tier nine through super ship, 12 defended ribbons. So basically um, you're resetting, like if it is an enemy destroyer, um, he's trying to cap, right? And you reset him defended, or if he's trying to take your cap, uh, you've capped it and now the enemy destroyer is taking, on, taking it, then you wanna get off the cap and you just wanna shoot them whenever they step onto the cap. And so you wanna do that again in a cruiser there. Uh, 1.5 million potential damage uh, in a single battle with a destroyer. It's not difficult, right? So maybe you're playing with your rudder, you're playing with your propulsion, right? Um, 
dodging torpedoes that can that will definitely help add to your potential damage yeah 25 achievements witherer um you can see here right if i want to get witherer i go for conqueror and you can see that it's there's no class there's no nation nationality like conqueror is my go-to saint vincent would be my go-to possible to do with zao uh, of course still um just your shells just chances of starting a fire is really high on the british battleships as an example maybe goliath would do really well in that role uh cause 300 damage to enemy cruisers can be completed over several battles uh, 2,500 ribbons, right? If I'm playing Japanese ships, you know, Harugamo is really good at getting ribbons. <laughs> and you can complete this over several battles, of course, with different ships. Just Harugamo has, uh, she's a nasty little gunboat. Tier 10 Japanese uh, destroyer gunboat. Uh, 230,000 damage to battleships, right? And you have to be in a submarine or aircraft carrier. So maybe this is one you skip and you just complete one of the other tasks again. 40,000 XP. 3 million potential, or 3 million credits, credits excuse me, complete, completed over several battles. Again, you're, you're going to earn more credits and more XP, um, more commander XP playing ranked or randoms over co-op. It's going to take you a longer time to progress in co-op. Um, and you can see they don't have operations here either, so that's a bit of a downer because that does pays out better than co-op. Uh, final tasks, 30,000 XP and then you would get Yamamoto Isoroku. Um, Yamamoto Isoroku and Halsey are fantastic. Um, I just went for Des Moines first because um, I'm an American, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm also a naval war history nerd and I just love Halsey, um, like his story and stuff. I mean, yeah, did he mess up in his naval career for sure? You know, Yamamoto, uh, but Bull Halsey still did really, he performed well. He wasn't afraid of a fight. And then Yamamoto Isoroku was just this genius for the Japanese Navy, Admiralty. And so they have some really good skills. I've covered, talked about them before. I won't do that in this video. But I hope um, this has given you um, a good introduction and advice. If I talk through things too fast, I apologize. It's just, it's a lot to cover and I didn't want to drag this video out uh, any longer. I was hoping to do it in under 30, but a little over. So it is what it is. So. If you have questions about something or a task that you want me to give more specific input and advice on, or maybe I didn't touch in the video as well, just let me know in the comments below. I'm sure other people can add um, their advice, their tips for grinding, uh, reaching Halsey, reaching Yamamoto Isoroku. Uh, so please, it's a community. That's what the YouTube comments are for, so we can interact, we can help one another. So if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.